Hey guys, what is going on? It is here, Mad Muppet 14, and today I have a problem solution for you guys today. So, if you guys are running Windows 8 or Windows 7, and after logging into your computer, you guys will get a black screen after logged in. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix that. Uh, right now, I'm not sure if it's the only pro I don't know if it's only doing this problem to Windows 8. Or to Windows 7, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess for Windows 7 too. But I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure. But if you came from Windows 7, please guys let me know. I'm gonna be running Windows 8, uh, just 8 and not 8.1. So, um, this is, this is what you guys want to go ahead and do if you guys are already, if you guys already logged into your computer as I am doing it right now. Uh, if you guys already logged in and after you guys logged in, this black screen will come up and you don't know what to do i'm going to be showing you four different options so i recently ran into this problem a couple days ago and i didn't want to record because i actually didn't know if it was going to work and i was reading some articles and i actually found out that um that they actually had to factory reset your computer but today i'm gonna i'm not gonna teach you on how to do that i'm gonna show you the easier way so of course your computer will come out with the black stream after the login from right here guys and you can still move your mouse around of course if you guys are having the problem with the black screen so from right here we guys want to go ahead and do it is hold the control a l t and the delete at the same time if you guys are already logged in if you guys are not logged in already uh you guys on the login stream make sure you just go all the way to the bottom of the screen until the shutdown option and from right here you're gonna have the three different options with so sleep shutdown and restart you guys are gonna go ahead and hit restart, and at the same time, uh, when you guys are gonna press restart, restart, you guys are gonna press the shift button and just hold it. Keep don't let go, and when you press it, the restart. Make sure you guys keep on holding the shift button until it's uh, to the next screen comes up. So from right here, guys, what you just want to do. It is go to the troubleshoot and the, I'm going to be showing you for around three different options we guys could do first. So first of all, make sure you guys go ahead and uh, try to refresh your PC. And from if that doesn't work, make sure you do the same process as we just did. And the next step, next step you guys going to go ahead to advanced options. And from right here, go to a system restore. And what actually happened to your computer while you're getting the black stream is because... You you recently installed something that um that was kind of like a virus or malware, so that's pretty much why that your computer's not starting up that uh, that good. So you guys wanna, you guys might want to go ahead and put that uh put that right there. Uh, so the next option we guys want to do, and the very last option which is you guys want to do that the system restore didn't work. Make sure you do the same process again and make sure you go into events options and the hit the start up settings from right here and we're gonna log into safe mode right quick so as we see safe mode enable safe mode so make sure you guys go ahead and click the enable safe mode and uh, just hit restart right there in the bottom of your right screen and the computer will start again and it will come up with the options again so right here uh, we want to go ahead and get uh, and to stay smooth with network because we are actually going to be downloading something so make sure you guys go ahead and try um, uh, Safe mode with network or just hate safe mode if you guys don't have internet access right now Get another computer and uh, download the two programs it will be in the description below it will it will be malware malware bytes and super anti, anti skyware those two programs will scan your computer for any malware viruses and stuff and that will remove the program so uh, that's the thing that actually helped me uh, to get my computer back up I ran those two programs and a couple hours later after they were both scanning it was uh, working as it was working a couple hours ago as like I was just doing it so this could take up to a little bit right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my computer and I'm gonna be showing you do I'm gonna be showing you the programs that you're gonna guys wanna go ahead to, to download but of course they will be in the description below too so the two programs we are gonna be downloading as we of course 
when you log in into safe mode your computer will be working everything will be the same you guys could go ahead and run it back up into usb or something like that and then just uh, restart factory reset your computer uh, but the two programs we are going to be using is malware bytes until malware and super um malware so it's that one right there and the next one in the top so make sure you guys go ahead and just both run it at the same time which i would recommend you to do and that's pretty much it guys so this actually did help me to scan your computer for both and uh this guys work 100 percent. and if guys didn't work if this video didn't work for you guys and uh, please let me know i will try to help you out and see what's wrong with your computer and try to fix your computer but please guys let me know how i did in this video and i'll catch you guys later please guys make sure you guys go ahead and check the link in the description below for the two links for these two programs that are absolutely for free and if you guys try to get from your other computer just download the installation and from your computer try uh, install it on the safe mode and i will, and it will work guys so thank you for watching i'll catch you guys later